Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Quarto 1.4 has just been released, and if you're an R or Python user, you should definitely check out these new features. So I'm going to do some deep dives on a couple of these in the future. Today I just wanted to do a bit of a summary of these cool new things. Starting off, the very first one is dashboards. I've got a couple of examples there, uh, and this is really nice. You may have been using Shiny already if you are an R user. But being able to do this in Quarto, I think, is going to be really helpful. And again, with R Studio being something that is usable with both Python and R, gives some really good versatility there. So we've got an examples gallery. If we jump over, have a look at some of the examples. We can see we've got Python, and we come down, we've got R as well. And with these, we can click in to get the full screen view. We can also access the code as well. So if you'd like the look of some of these, you may take that source code, use that as a starting point for your own dashboards. Next up, I presume we pronounce this typist. And so this is basically typesetting. Uh, if we kind of think along the lines, certainly they say as powerful as LaTeX, but basically some really nice typesetting and in particular, some really nice templates. So we can see a couple of examples here. IEEE for that style of uh, two column publication, posters, letters, or this newsletter style. So if we come over, uh, we've also got another one for fiction, another one for AMS. So for those of you that are teaching something that has uh, formulae, proofs, theorems, things like that, you can see an example here of the AMS style, very reminiscent of LaTeX. So it's probably something you could have done already, but would involve a bit more fumbling around with that bridging between Quarto and LaTeX. Uh, here it is now just as uh, some of these templates and formats. So those are the really big two. Have a look at some of the others that are mentioned. So for encode syntax, uh, we can now have just a single dash instead of triple dash to get our inline code. I guess that saves a bit of typing. We've got cross-references, cross-referencing. For those of you that have had to do bigger documents in Word, where you've had a lot of cross-referencing there, seeing these updates is quite handy. So having this new syntax style for being able to do cross-referencing will hopefully make it much easier to do that within your Quarto documents. We've got frameworks for manuscripts for those of you who are producing scientific works or publishing and previously maybe you did your work in Quarto but then when you got to the point of making a manuscript you had to jump out use something else. I think this is pretty handy. In fact I could even see some online journals maybe even moving towards this being a particular format that they wanted you to produce and submit your manuscripts with. It's really nice that you would be able to incorporate all of your code. It would give a nice level of transparency that you probably don't get at the moment, even with online journals. We can see some other highlights. Shiny for Python is a pretty interesting one. I don't use Python a lot, but that's certainly one that I might check out. Uh, the email generation, I've seen a couple of people recently posting on Reddit about that, so it could be a handy one. Publishing to the cloud. Lightbox treatment for images and figures. So all of these... Probably not quite as major, but certainly for some people, depending on what your particular use cases are for using Quarto, could be some pretty handy things here. I'll definitely be coming back and having a deeper dive on these dashboards, maybe also Shiny for Python as well. So keep an eye out for those in the near future. In the meantime, I will be back really soon with more videos on uh, AI, statistics and random stuff.